Uttara Kannada is a district in the Indian state of Karnataka. It is bordered by the state of Goa and Belagavi district to the north, Darwad district and Havri district to the east, Shivamaga district and Udupi district to the south, and the Arabian Sea to the west. The city of Karwar is the administrative headquarters of the district. Sursi, Dandali and Bhatkal are other major towns in the district. The district has two agroclimatic divisions, namely, the coastal plain, consisting of Karwar, Ankola, Kumta, Hanavar and Bhatkal Taliks. The Malinadu, consisting of Sursi, Siddhapur, Yelapur, Dandali, Halil, Joida and Mungad Taliks. History The first known dynasty from Uttar Kannada district are Chudas of Banavasi. Uttara Kannada was the home of the Kadamba kingdom from the 350 to 525. They ruled from Banavasi. After the subjugation of the Kadambas by the Chalukyas, the district came under successive rule of empires like Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, Hoysalas and Vijayanagar Empire. Famous Moroccan traveller Ibn Battuta is said to have stayed for a time in the district under the protection of Nawayath Sultan Jamal al-Din at Hunor. This place is presently known as Hozapatana and is located in the town of Hanavar. Ruins of an old mosque and its minaret can still be seen in the village. The district came under the rule of Maratha Empire in the 1750s and later part of Mysore Kingdom, who ceded it to the British at the conclusion of the Fourth Mysore War in 1799. It was initially part of Kanara district in Madras Presidency. The district was divided to North and South Kanara districts in 1859. The British finally transferred Uttara Kannada district to Bombay Presidency in 1862. After India's independence in 1947, Bombay Presidency was reconstituted as Bombay State. In 1956 the southern portion of Bombay State was added to Mysore State, which was renamed Karnataka in 1972. Significant and picturesque, the Sadashivgad Fort of historical importance is now a popular tourist destination located by the Kali River Bridge, which has been built at the confluence of the river and the Arabian Sea. The renowned Bengali poet and Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, who visited Uttara Kannada in 1882, dedicated an entire chapter of his memoirs to this town. The 22-year-old Rabindranath Tagore stayed with his brother, Satendranath Tagore, who was the district judge in Uttara Kannada. There is a substantial amount of Chardo families in this area as they had migrated due to the persecution of the Portuguese in Goa. Portuguese Sintacora, also known as Chitricol and Sindpur, was known to the Portuguese as a very old port. When Sadashivgad was built in this area, the village also came to be known by that name. Pir Fort, named for the Darga of Shikaramadan, was captured and burnt by the Portuguese in 1510. The creek at the mouth of the Kali River was a trading center which came into greater prominence after Sadashivgad was built and the Portuguese realized the advantages of its sheltered harbor. <laughs> <laughs> British In 1638 a rival English trading body, the Courting Association, established a factory at Uttara Kannada actually the village named Kadwad, situated 6 kilometres eastwards on the banks of the Kali River. It was a trade port frequented by traders from Arabia and Africa. Bathal Port, the current civil port of Uttara Kannada, was famous for its natural harbour. The name Baithkal is Arabic term, bait e kol meaning Bay of Safety. Muslin was the chief commodity purchased but Uttara Kannada was also a source for pepper, cardamom, cassia and coarse blue cotton cloth. Situated on India's west coast, 50 miles southeast of Goa, Uttara Kannada was noted for its safe harbour. In 1649 the Courtine Association united with the British East India Company and Uttara Kannada became a company factory. Kingdom of Mysore. In the Treaty of Mangalore signed in 1784, between Tipu Sultan and the East India Company, one finds reference to Uttara Kannada and Sadashivgad written as Karwar and Sadasugud respectively. Bhatkal and Hanavar were the chief ports of Tipu Sultan in the district. <laughs> 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 
Topic: The British Empire. The British made Uttara Kannada their district headquarters in 1862. Since 1862, the time from which it came under Bombay presidency, Uttara Kannada was described as a first-rate harbour between Bombay and Colombo. <laughs> Maratha Empire It became a part of Maratha territory. It was a part of the Bombay presidency until 1950. Geography and climate The main geographic feature of the district is the Western Ghats or Sayadri Range, which runs from north to south through the district. Between the Sayadris and the sea is a narrow coastal strip, known as the Payanghat, which varies from 8 to 24 kilometers to miles) in width. Behind the coastal plain are flat-topped hills from 60 to 100 meters in height, and behind the hills are the ridges and peaks of the Sayadras. East of the Sayadras is the Balagat upland, part of the vast Deccan plateau. Moisture-bearing winds come from the west, and yearly rainfall averages 3,000 mm in on the coast, and as high as 5,000 mm in on the west-facing slopes of the Sayadras. East of the crest is the rain shadow of the Sayadras, which receive as little as 1,000 mm annually. Much of the rain falls in the June to September monsoon. Five major rivers drain westwards from the crest of the Sayadras to the sea, from north to south, they are the Kali, Gangawali, Aganashini, Sharavati, and Venkatapur. These rivers form numerous waterfalls, the most famous of which is Jog Falls, on upper reaches of the Sharavati in neighboring Shimoga district. Other famous waterfalls include Unchali Falls, where the river Aganashini drops 116 meters, Magad Falls, where the Bedtai River plunges 180 meters in two leaps, Shivganga Falls, where the river Sanda Shalmali drops 74 meters, and Lalguli Falls and Mailmain Falls on the river Kali. In the lowlands, these rivers form wide estuaries, extending several kilometers inland from the coast. <inaudible> Ecology The district's high rainfall supports lush forests, which cover approximately 70% of the district. The Malabar Coast Moist Forests ecoregion lies in a narrow strip between the Arabian Sea and the foothills of the Western Ghats up to 250 metres elevation. These forests have been almost completely converted to agriculture and teak plantations. The North Western Ghats Moist Deciduous Forests cover the Sayadras from 250 to 1,000 metres elevation. Many trees shed leaves in the drier months. Above 1,000 meters elevation lie the evergreen northwestern Ghats montane rainforests. Anchi National Park near Dandali preserves approximately 250 square kilometers (97 square miles) of semi-evergreen forest, which is home to the tiger, black panther, leopard cat, gaur, Asian elephant, sambar, and a range of birds and reptiles. Dandali Wildlife Sanctuary protects 834 square kilometers, 322 square miles of semi-evergreen and bamboo forest in the watershed of the Kali River and its tributaries, the Canary and Nagajuri. Rotten's free-tailed bat, Odomops rotoni, is endemic to the forests of Bimgod Wildlife Sanctuary. The district is also home to patches of savanna and degraded scrub jungles, which are often the result of overuse for logging or grazing. Much of the lowland has been cleared for agriculture. Mangrove forests can be found in the river estuaries, and the sandy beaches are home to groves of Caliphylum inophyllum, coconut and screw pine The rocky beaches at Banaga, Arga, Belakari, Tadadi, Gokarna, Ankola, Kumta, Dareshwar, Kasarkad, Murdeshwara, Botkal and Belk of the district are rich with marine fauna diversity. The beaches at Botkal include American Jolly Beach, Bahrain Jolly Beach, Nastar Beach, Nakhuda Beach, Lighthouse Beach and the Rocky Udmudi Beach. The rocky beaches of Uttara Kannada district harbour the invertebrates belonging to the phyla porifera, Salenterata, Analita, Arthropoda, Molesca and Echinodermata. Adivari Bird Sanctuary is home to 79 species of birds including migratory birds from 22 countries. Dandali Wildlife Sanctuary is famous for the elusive black panther among other animals like gaur, tiger and leopards. The Kavala Caves with their 5 feet 1.5 meters. 
High natural Shiva Linga, Sinthari Rocks is a 500 feet 150 meters high rock flanked by natural caves and waterfalls, Vincoli Rapids, Sykes Point which offers a view of Kali River, and a suspension bridge are places worth visiting in this sanctuary. Yana is an enchanting place that can be reached by trekking about 10 kilometers 6.2 miles through lush forest. It is famous for its tall jagged rock formations and waterfalls. There is also a shrine of Bhairavishvara here. Anshi National Park located some distance from Dandali is undisturbed. Barood Falls is about 20 kilometers 12 miles from Siddhapur, Unchali Falls, Shivaganji, Binholai Fall is about 25 kilometers 16 miles from Sursi, Magad Falls and Sathodi Falls near Yelapura are some of the best natural falls in Uttara Kannada district. There are many dams in this district namely Supa Dam, Kodasali Dam and Kadra Dam. The famous atomic energy station at Kaiga is on the beautiful banks of Kali River Karnataka. Economy Agriculture The chief crops of the district are rice and areca nut, along with a great diversity of other crops. Tree crops include coconut, sugarcane, cocoa, cashew, mango, banana, pineapple, garcinia, and sapota. Vegetables include onion, radish, cucumber, cauliflower, sweet potato, eggplant, brinjal, and amaranth. Spices include pepper, cardamom, ginger, and nutmeg. Millet and cotton are grown in the drier portion of the district east of the Western Ghats. Bhatkal is famous for its imported goods markets, which existed even before India's liberalization. Demographics According to the 2011 census Uttara Kannada has a population of 1,436,847, roughly equal to the nation of Swaziland or the U.S. state of Hawaii. This gives it a ranking of 346th in India out of a total of 640. The district has a population density of 140 inhabitants per square kilometer, 360 per square miles. Its population growth rate over the decade 2001 to 2011 was 6.15%. Uttara Kannada has a sex ratio of 975 females for every 1000 males. Topic: <laughs> Language The main language spoken in this district is Kannada. Kannada is the predominant language of the district, followed by Konkani which is also widely spoken. Nawayath is spoken by Muslims in Bhatkal and surrounding areas. <inaudible> Religion The population is predominantly Hindu composed of majority communities, although a Catholic community has existed here since the 1500s. Muslims have a sizable majority in Bhatkal Taluk and are majority in Bhatkal city. Literacy <inaudible> 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 Total about 10.8 lakh people in the district are literate, among them about 5.8 lakh are male and about 5 lakh are female. Literacy rate children under 6 are excluded of Uttara Kannada is 84%, 90% of male and 78% of female population are literate here. Overall literacy rate in the district has increased by 7%. Male literacy has gone up by 5% and female literacy rate has gone up by 10%. Culture Yakshagana is a classical dance drama popular in the state of Karnataka in India mostly popular in the districts of Uttara Kannada, Shimoga, Udupi, Dakshina Kannada and Kasaragad district of Kerala. This theatre art involves music, songs, dance, acting, dialogue, story and unique costumes. While songs and dance adhere to well-established talas very similar to classical Indian dance forms, acting and dialogues are created spontaneously on stage depending on ability of artists. This combination of classical and folk elements makes Yakshagana unique from any other Indian art. This would be considered to be a form of opera in Western eyes. 
Traditionally, Yakshaganas used to start late in the night and run entire night. Bhagavatha, the background singer is also the directory of the story and controls the entire proceedings on stage. Bhagavatha along with background musicians who play Chand and Madale forms Himala. The actors who wear colorful costumes and enact various roles in the story forms Mumala. There are many professional troops in Karnataka. In spite of competition from modern movie industry and TV, these troops are arranging ticketed shows and making profit. Apart from this individuals arrange shows in their village inviting well-known professional artists like Sri Chitani Ramachandra Hegde, Kandadakuli Ramachandra Hegde, Gopal Achari Thirthahali and Ramesh Bhandari Murur, providing an opportunity for local talents to act with legends. Yakshagana is sometimes simply called as Ada in both Kannada and Kila Karwari Konkani, Konkani meaning play. Yakshagana literally means the song Gana of a yaksha. Yakshas were an exotic tribe mentioned in the Sanskrit literature of ancient India. The Nawayath men wears lungis unique to them. Cuisine Uttara Kannada is famous for a variety of seafood delicacies. Fish curry and rice is the staple diet of the locals. Cashews and coconut are also extensively used. The staple diet includes a portion of steamed rice with a vegetable and or seafood accompaniment. Seafood is immensely popular due to its ease of availability, and is prepared with a lot of local spices. Tea is the most popular beverage and is sometimes supplemented with cardamom or mint to give a distinct flavor. Kote kadubu, the main ingredients in kote kadubu are jackfruit pulp and jaggery. The batter which is prepared with additional ingredients is put into a container and steamed. This dessert is a local delicacy and is served hot with ghee. Holj, these are similar to the sweet equivalents of tortillas. One variant is made with gram flour and jaggery, while the other is made with coconuts. view is a special kind of thin crust dosa made out of jaggery or sugarcane juice. Most local desserts of Circe have jaggery rather than sugar. Kesariboth, is rice cooked in sugar, ghee, and kesari. Karakali, is a special kind of chutney which tastes very spicy. It is prepared from colocasia leaves. Kote roti, a form of idli-like preparation, steam cooked in a conical-shaped container constructed using jackfruit leaves. Patrode, a special dish prepared by steaming stuffed colocasia leaves. Near dose, a soft thin pancake made of batter of boiled rice, coconut milk and salt. Kajmiji, Koli kajaya and hosajer kajaya are made of rice flour and fried in oil as a famous dish often using roti. Often served with thick potato sambar or nati chicken curry, it is a delicacy among the non-vegetarian communities in Siddhapura. Banana buns Ankola koli saaru Appe huli Patholi Kalali masala Genazal Topic. Transport Topic. Public transport Northwest Karnataka Transport Corporation NWKRTC is the state transport agency in the district. The NWKRTC covers all towns and villages of the district. There is a good network of public transport which connects the villages to the towns of the district. There are regular intrastate services to major cities and towns of the state like Bangalore, Mangalore, Mysore, Hubli Darwad and Belgaum. The Kadama transport buses of neighboring Goa state provides regular service from Karwar to Mangalore and all part of Goa state. Kumta, Botkal and Sursi are the main hubs for public transport which provides services to intra-district and intrastate round the clock. Many private transport buses also provide services for inter, intrastate from the district. Botkal is the main sector for private transport in the district. The NH66 which passes through the district which connects Panvel near Mumbai to Kerala state. Many private buses are plying on this highway which provides inter-intrastate services to places like Bombay, Pune, Kolhapur, Belgaum, Panaji, Margao, Udupi, Mangalore, Bangalore, Mysore, Botkal, Kasaragod, Kananur, Calicut etc. Topic. Railways The following railways pass through the district 
Konkan Railway which connects Mangalore and Mumbai via Karwar, Bhatkal Railway Station and Ritnagira. Londa to Vasco Railway Line which passes through Castle Rock Castle Rock to Dandali Railway Line. Hubli Ankola Railway Line is proposed to link Karwar Port and the northern Karnataka. Hanavar Talaguppa Railway Line is proposed to link Karwar Port and the central part of Karnataka. RORO roll on, roll off services is provided by Konkan Railway to, from Ankola Railway Station to Saratkal Railway Station. Many truckers use this facility between Ankola to Mangalore. Topic: <laughs> Ports. Uttara Kannada, being one of the coastal district of the Karnataka state, has a coast of 120 kilometers (75 miles). Has many ports which are used for sea trade, naval base, fishing, and other maritime activities. Karwar Port is an intermediate sea port. The main activities of this port are berthing of ocean going ships, coastal shipping, and fishing jetty. Ship bunkering facility is also available at Karwar Port. Karwar Airport will be built by the Indian Navy at Alagari Village. Naval Air Base, which is part of the Navy's 10,000 crore rupees Phase 2 of Project Seabird. INS Kadamba is a naval base at Arga Village of Karwar, which is used exclusively for berthing of naval vessels. A naval ship repair yard dry docks is also attached to it. Belkari port is an anchorage port. Tadri port is a fishing port. Kumta port is a fishing port. Hanavar port is a fishing port. Bhatkal port is a fishing port. It was actually Project Seabird which is now in Karwar. People protest and proposal for withdrawn. There is another fishing port called Tenjangandi port. The proposed Hubli Ankola railway line can be feasible venture for the future developments of the ports in the district, for movement of the cargo. At present, roads are only major mode of cargo movement, which leads to congestion of the national highways of the district. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby airports Goa International Airport Mangalore International Airport Hubli Airport Belgaum Airport Topic Notable Personalities NK Naik Professor Emeritus at IIT Bombay Anant Nag Shankar Nag Yashwant Chital Shantinath Desai Chitani Ramachandra Hegde, Yakshagana artist Garudas Kamat Ramakrishna Hegde Major Rama Rigoba Rain, Param Veer Chakra Awardee Jayshri Gadkar, Marathi movie actress Dinakara Desai Gorish Kaikini Narayan Hosmani Jayant Kaikini Akshay Nayak, filmmaker Lena Chandavarkar Nandan Nilakani Pandari Bai Pandit Ramesh Nadkarni Sundar Nadkarni Vilas Sarang Venkana H. Naik, Barrister Sanapa Parameshwar Gayankar Karamane Shivarama Hegde, Yakshagana artist Mainavathi, Kannada actress Farida Jalal, Hindi cinema actress R. N. Shetty, industrialist Anuradha Padwal, singer Radhika Pandit Prashant Ambig HR professional, Navi Mumbai. SM Syed Khalilaraman, a prominent businessperson in Dubai, one of most India's influential personality in UAE, an educationist, a philanthropist, one of the earliest chartered accountants in the region. Hails from Bhatkal, resides in Dubai UAE. Chakravarthi Sulibele See also Ganawanti